You can't catch me. I'm too fast. <laughs> You're not gonna get me. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. <laughs> Could somebody please unfreeze me? I really have to scratch my nose. Why doesn't anyone want to play Princess Mia? You're next. Come back, Tessa. <laughs> no, sir. Uh-uh. Gotcha, Mia. I'm not playing freeze tag. Princess Mia is way better. Eddie, playing Princess Mia is... Scratch my nose! Scratch my nose! In Princess Mia, we all go to the funnest place in the entire world. Ah, uh, yeah. Sounds great, Mia. <laughs> yeah. In my game, there's a big castle. Castles are cool, but I'm frozen. And there's a bird on my head. <laughs> Come back, Tessa! <laughs> in Princess Mia's funnest place in the entire world, there are rides. Did you say rides? Is there a carousel? Definitely, with the fastest ponies you've ever seen. Does it have a big balloon ride? Bigger than biggest. Are there fairy tale characters? Uh-huh. Awesome! Yeah! Let's go! Hit it, Ziggy! Hey, where's the music? Um, a little help. Oops, I'll unfreeze you, Kobe. There. Thanks, Tessa. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this Welcome to the funnest place in the entire world. I'm Humpty Dumpty, and I'll be your tour guide today. And I'm the Gingerbread Woman. We're here to make sure you have the best... T -t 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 Tiara! She's the princess! Your, your majesty. majesty. Thank you. You can call me Princess Mia. Princess? princess. You and your loyal subjects are most royally welcome here. We're Mia's loyal subjects? Whoa, look at that trampoline! Let's go bounce! Ahem. Only the princess can give the royal command to start bouncing. We may now go and play. Your wish is our command. Oh boy, can't wait. <laughs> we <laughs> look at me. We've been looking at you, Mia, for about two zillion hours. Think someone else can have a turn? The princess is almost done. Wow. Beautiful bouncing, your highness. On to the carousel. Finally! The princess has left. Bouncing time is officially over! What? That's not fair. Isn't this fun? Come on, you guys! I guess Mia wants her loyal subjects to follow her. <laughs> Faster, Orsi! Faster! <laughs> Every inch a princess. I could watch her all day. I think we already have. Okay, bored now. I'm feeling... Yes, yes Your, Your Majesty? Majesty. <gasps> Balloonish! Yes. 
Come along now. You heard what the princess said. Oh, boy. this is not oh, fun. Boring. I guess we can forget about the carousel. Yeah, Yay! but the balloon ride is going to be fun. <laughs> you mean it would have been fun. Woohoo! My kingdom is so beautiful. You should see the view from up here. Anyone else get the feeling the funnest place in the entire world is only fun for Princess Mia? <laughs> Ooh, perfect princess landing, your majesty. Where'd everybody go? Over there, playing some silly game. <laughs> You're in again! Get, no, get, get, get me, I got you! Clearly, they don't know how to behave around a princess. They should be honored to watch you having fun, especially when you do it so well. I am pretty good at it, aren't I? To the throne room. You know what this place is perfect for? Hide and seek! Excellent! I'll count to ten, and you hide. Where would you like us to hide, Your Majesty? Anywhere. But where would it please you to have us hide? If I know where you're hiding, it'll be too easy for me to find you. And then you'll win! Hooray for Princess Mia! Just hide! One, two, three... I'm hiding over here, Your Highness! <sighs> uh, um, I'm hiding behind the curtains now, Your Majesty. And I'm still hiding behind your throne! This isn't any fun. Let's do something else. Ooh, something else is a wonderful idea! But what else? <laughs> You're frozen! <laughs> you have it, you have it. I'm not frozen. I'm frozen. I'm gonna freeze you. How about freeze tag? Brilliant! Gotcha! gotcha. You're, You're frozen. frozen. You, you win, win, Princess, Princess Mia. Mia. Do you guys even know how to play? It's no fun if you keep letting me win. Come with me. <sighs> yes, Princess Mia. <laughs> hey, guys. I'd like to say something. No music! Yes, Your Majesty. What does Your Royal Highness want? I'm sorry for being all princessy and stuff. Anything you guys want to play is all right with me. Anything in the whole world. Well, we were about to play jump rope. That sounds fun! One, two, buckle my shoe! Three, four, knock on the door! Uh, 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 I don't know what to do, Your Majesty. Jump in, it's fun. And call me Mia. Uh, five, six, pick up sticks! <laughs> Seven, eight, lay them straight! Right, Mia! It is more fun for everyone to play together. I'm glad we finally figured that out. Now this really is the funnest place in the world. <laughs> it's time for Mia. Where's Mia? Here I am! Instead of me making up a fairy tale, let's all make up a story together! Great! Cool. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a princess. Your turn, Sophie. And, um, there was a... Horrible, terrible, fire-breathing dragon! Kobe? A brave and very handsome knight came to save the princess. Tessa? But the princess didn't need saving because all the dragon wanted was to roast a giant marshmallow. Sophie? How about a little heat, Mr. Dragon? Roar! That's awesome! The handsome knight loves roasted marshmallows. Yeah! Me too! Give me some. Mm, yum. Mm, Looks my good. My favorite. And we all lived happily ever after. Marshmallow tag! 
What do you think? How about this, Mia? It's Mia's Fairy Tale Theater presents The Boy Who Cried Wolf, not The Pirate Who Cried Wolf. How about The Boy Who Cried Super Eddie? Save my pet monkey? Boy Who Cried Wolf. That ferocious dragon's about to eat up all those poor, innocent animals. <laughs> they can only be saved by... Joking Jack the Dragon huh? Jester! Jack, what are you doing? I'm here to help you, Super Eddie. Hey, Dragon, what did the egg say about the fork? <laughs> Beats me. Get it? Because you beat an egg with a fork? <laughs> Dragons are defenseless against a good joke. Joking Jack uses his super funny powers to make the monster laugh and saves the day. Ring-a-ling, ring-a-ling. Wait. What's that? A super emergency? What? What is it? A very special Super Eddy adventure! Great! I'll come with you! Sorry! Only one superhero at a time! Sophie! Kobe! I need some music for my Super Eddy adventure! Mia, we'll be right back! How about this hat? No! Hm. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Bone. 
What's so great about him? I'm the superhero. <laughs> Hello! Hello there. Lovely day. It's Prince Piggington. He can't drive that tractor. He'll crash, and he's heading right for the farm. Royal greetings, all. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Super Eddie is here to... Stop that tractor. Hello there. Ha! The old remote control tractor gag. A classic, am I right? Classic? Oh, yes. Funny bone in the funny zone. <laughs> <laughs> Guess they want a super clown, not a superhero. <laughs> not a problem, folks. That's what the stop button's for. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Right. Like, I'm going to help him. Help! Except, real heroes don't do what they want to do. They do what they should do. <laughs> now this definitely looks like a job for Super Ready! to be a super ready adventure. How did you? I followed you here. I was just trying to make you laugh. That's my superpower. I thought you'd like my jokes, and then you'd like me and want me to be your partner. But I guess I messed up. It was pretty funny. The pizza boxes. Right? Super funny. And that crazy dancing guy in Prince Piggington and the tractor. So, we can be partners? Well, Super Yeti and a sidekick Funny Bone could work. Wait a minute. Why shouldn't you be my sidekick? Um, because I'm the one who can fly? I can make everyone laugh. I can lift tractors. Oh, like that's so special. It's time like for me. Story of the boy who cried wolf. Once upon a time, there was a shepherd boy. Bah. The shepherd boy wanted people to notice him, so he cried wolf. Wolf! His neighbor came running. Wait, I don't see any wolf. Me neither. Want to play? Uh. And he did it again. Wolf! Wolf! There isn't any wolf! I know. Wanna play? Nah, not right now. But then, a real wolf came along. Arr, wolfy, wolfiness! Wolf! But no one believed the shepherd boy because he cried wolf before and... Where you been, Wolfie? I've been calling you and calling you. Wanna play? Play? No! You're supposed to be scared of the wolf. Why? We're friends. And you're supposed to scare the shepherd boy. I don't want to scare him. I want to make him laugh because we're friends. Wolfy, wolfy, wolf, 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 wolf. I'm going to eat you. Watch out. Oh, no. Don't eat me. We're friends. <sighs> 
And so the shepherd boy and the wolf laughed and played, and no one was scared. <laughs> and I have no idea why I just told you this story. The end. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> You're going to need a thorough examination. We'll get x-rays, then we'll pop the old kneecap and take a look under the hood. But Sophie, it's only a scrape. Trust me, Mia, I'm a doctor. Well, at least I want to be a doctor when I grow up. You know how many years of school that takes? No, how many? Like a thousand hundred million. Oh. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Guess what I want to be when I'm big? An airplane? Zoom, no, zoom. a pilot. Hey, that's what I want to be too. I thought of it first. We can both be pilots. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> Well, I'm the first pilot, so I sit here. I'll be the passenger. Hey, what about me? You can be the... Co-pilot! Okay, but before takeoff, the co-pilot has to sit in his seat. Attention, passengers. Hold on. We're flying upside down. Whee! You can't do that. I'm the pilot. You're the... I can't decide if I want to be an astronaut, a rap singer or a farmer when I grow up. A farmer! Great idea, Kobe. Mia and Eddie are already dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the farm and we can have a hoedown. What's that? It's a country dance. Come on! Zoom, zoom! Whoa. That was fun. Take it away, Ziggy. And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song Guys, let's get this party started, Tessa style. Where? There's no room. Hmm. We can just dance around all this stuff. Hit it, Kobe. I mean, Ziggy. isn't really set up for a dance party. We can fix it with a little elbow grease. We can make it spectacular. You know what this place really needs? Yep, a dancing dinosaur. Arr! No, what this place needs is decorations. Huh, <sighs> boring. Dinosaurs are boring. They're distinct. You mean extinct? That too. Wait. I have an idea. Balloons! I love balloons. Okay, we can blow them up together. Deal. <sighs> we'll get some of this mess cleaned up. <sighs> Eddie, you're supposed to be blowing up the balloons. But this is fun! See? Edward Lazy Pants, we've still got all those to do. Okay, okay. Here. Look! Perfect! Just be careful it doesn't blow away. Okay. Sit. Good balloon! Stay, st 
day. Bad balloon. Not now, I'm working. Okay, balloon, you win. I'll take you for a walk, but only a short one. I've got a job to finish. Farm sure, sure are fun. Do your job and soon you're done. Up and down, left and right. The barn floor goes from dull to bright. Sweep and sweeps the blues away. Not to mention dust and hay. Working, singing, we don't slow down. When we're done, we'll be dancing at the farm hotel. Did you blow up all of these? Sure did. But what did Eddie do? In fact, where is Eddie? <sighs> I bet he was off having fun while we all worked hard. Yeah, my elbow grease is all dried up. Well, let's go and find him. Come on. What in the name of bouncing buttercups is going on? Balloons are like dogs. You've got to take them out twice a day. Uh, Eddie, what happened to helping? But this is so much more fun. Not more fun than dancing. Does that mean it's time for the party? Here, boy. No, heel, Balloon, heel. Eddie, come on. I would if I could, but he's too strong. Whoa! Whoa! I'm flying! Woohoo! Eddie, let go! Watch out! Don't hit the. Whoa! Whoa! Ugh. Oh no! Oh, rats! Our balloons! Eddie! I am so, 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 so sorry! I just got carried away. You can say that again. I'll make it up to all of you, I promise. How? I'll blow up all of my balloons while you go and have fun. But Eddie, we came here to have fun together. And it won't be the same without you, even if you are a big airhead. We'll help you. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Partner, do -si do we did all the chores, and so the work is done and job's complete. Now we can dance with happy feet. Welcome aboard flight E. Heading to Backyard International Airport. We'll be flying Tessa style with your pilot and co-pilot, me and Eddie. You know, I'm not sure I want to be a pilot anymore. Any room in first class? Sure. So what are you going to be when you grow up? Something where I can keep my feet on the ground. Like a chicken or a race car driver. Or maybe a racing chicken. Sorry. No racing chickens in first class, sir. <laughs> Swing 
and your partner, do si do we did all the chores. And so, the work is done and job's complete. Now we can dance with happy feet. Hey! No dancing in first class either. <laughs> <laughs> noise. Woohoo! Yay! This is very fun. <laughs> Woohoo! I love loud noises. I'll be back. down for a nap, and they need total quiet so they can sleep. <sighs> Aren't they the cutest, sweetest, snooziest? Okay, Mia, we'll keep it down. <sighs> Every time I make some noise, someone always tells me to be quiet. I mean, wouldn't it be great if there were some place where we could make as much noise as we wanted to? Yeah. Where no one ever complains if you're loud. Yeah! Shh! Or says, shh! Hmm. The land of the loud! That's where we need to go. Where's that? It's where we can be as loud as we want. Awesome! Land of the loud, here we come! Shh! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. You can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first, we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Rats, you woke everyone up. Oops. Shh, don't worry. I'll sing you back to sleep when the noises are gone. Rock-a-bye babies on the back lawn. You'll go to sleep when the noises are gone. Wait up, guys. Quiet for the land of the loud. Loud, 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 loud. Loud, 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 loud. Now that's more like it. Hey, let's really make some noise.
for a while, but even I'm glad it's over. Uh-oh. It's not over yet. What do we do now? I, I wish, wish Mia was here to sing a lullaby. Maybe they would quiet down. Kobe, you're a genius. I am? Well, sing a song about being quiet and get them all to join in. Sleep? What did I miss? You missed marching in a really loud parade. Who says I missed it? Wake up, fluffy heads. Now, quiet time is over. We can all be in a loud parade. Everybody follow me. There's a time to smile and there's a time to frown. There's a time for chores and there's a time for toys. But you gotta have some quiet before you make some noise. Boom, boom, boom. 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 Thank you. 
over here. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho. Eddie, I said yo, ho, not ho, over yo, ho, here. Whoa! Oops, didn't see you there. You didn't hear me either. These were supposed to be mattresses for my fairy tale, the princess in the pea. How can I be a princess who falls asleep on a pile of mattresses if the mattresses aren't piled up? I'm really sorry, Mia. I wasn't listening. Look, we can put them back again. Oh, rats. Where's the pea? I can't do the princess in the pea without a pea. The pea under the mattress is supposed to keep me awake. Wait, maybe I have one. Let me check my pockets. Cracker. Dog toy. Seashell. Hmm, that's strange. I'm all out of peas. Thanks anyway, Sophie. I'll keep looking. We're going to search for treasure. Want to come? You guys go without me. Are you sure, Mia? Sure, I'm sure. I'm not going anywhere until I find that pea. Okay, bye, Mia. Hmm. Two, three, four! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. has just begun. Yo ho ho and a barrel of fun. Captain, something strange up ahead. Something sparkly. Sparkly? Could be treasure. Oh wow. wow. Where are we? It looks like a sea of bottles. Sea, sea of bottles. bottles. Ah, sea, sea of bottles. Hey, parrots. Must be the Sea of Bottles. <laughs> Let's see if there's a message in one of these bottles. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. <gasps> Could this be? A treasure map. X marks the spot, and that means treasure. What's this squiggly thing? Maybe it's a warning? A warning of what? A swirly seashell? Some squiggly seaweed? Well, maybe we should sail around it just in case. But that'll just waste time. There's treasure waiting. Set sail, mateys. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Might be a... When I open my treasure chest, I will find marbles of a colorful kind. Some are big, some are tiny, spotted and striped, round and shiny. We should sail around this swirly thing. Sail, sail around, around swirly, swirly thing. Act sail around, around swirly thing. thing. At least you're listening to me. Act, act. Hey, Sophie, can you look through your telescope to see if... When I open my treasure chest, I will find beautiful shells of every kind. Clams and oysters, maybe a pearl. I'm worried about this squiggly swirl. When I open my treasure chest, I will oh. find oh. dancing shoes of every kind. Jazz and swing shoes, flamenco too. Tango shoes for the dancers I do. Ballet shoes or maybe tap. I really don't like what I saw on that map. 
trouble. We've got to do something. Ah, come with me. Ah, ah. That's the treasure I love the best. When I open my treasure chest, a vast ahoy anchors away. We treasure our treasure, treasure hooray! Guys, I could use a little help. Treasure? Okay. Treasure today. Hooray! Kobe was trying to tell us. The swirl on the map is a... Whirlpool! We should have listened to you. What do we do now, Kobe? Ah. Eddie, Sophie, take the wheel. Tessa, pull that rigging. Ah, ah, yeah, I got you, Kobe. Kobe. be the best treasure of all! Still gotta find the pea. Gotta find the pea. Pretend it's a pea. It's perfect. <gasps> Mia? Ta da! <laughs> and the princess and the pea lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, not really, but it's fun to pretend. Welcome to the big show! With your hosts, Eddie and Sophie! Thank you! Thank, Thank you. you! You guys are a great audience. 
Let's hear it for Ziggy Wigglebottom and the Wigglebottom Band. Awesome music, Kobe. I'm not Kobe. I'm Ziggy. I, I mean, I'm Ziggy. And Ziggy Digga Doo means back to you. Thanks, Zig. We have a great show for you today. Adventure, songs, jokes, and... Our first act, the Junk Jugglers. Here, Kobe. Whoops, hey, come back here. Uh, thank you, Junk Jugglers. <laughs> You should try to work together. We were supposed to work together, but then I got really busy and... Me too. I was, um, the same as Kobe. Uh, like they said. What would happen to our show if we didn't all work together? If we don't work like a team, there's no show. So, team, ready for our adventure? Uh-huh. Yeah. Guess so. we're entering a very special talent contest in the jungle. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure and you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. What have we here? Visitors. Hmm? We're here to enter the talent contest. We really know how to put on a show. How cute. So, which one of you is talented, hmm? Well, we all kind of do different things. So you're the talented one? No, I mean, all of us are... Well, you look more talented than he does. Hey, wait a minute. Now, who looks more talented? <clears throat> On second thought, you look more talented than both of them. I do. Thank you. You know, I like to make up my own fairy tales. Then you should do that. And what should you do? Hmm? I like dancing. Maybe you're the talented one. I can dance and sing and everything else. Then let's enter you in the contest and see who's the most talented. Okay, I'm Eddie and ready to win. Eddie, who else wants to enter? Hmm? If Eddie's going to enter on his own, so am I. Sophie, my name's Sophie. Uh, Sophie, you weren't we supposed to do this together? Mia, write me down. I'm gonna win. Tessa, can you believe... Tessa. T-E-S-S-A. When I dance, no one else has a chance. What about you? What's your name, hmm? Kobe, but... No, I... You'd better get rehearsing. Hey, you guys! Wait! <laughs> I do so love messing with out-of-towners. I'm ready to be great. I'm better than pancakes and pizza on a plate. I'm definitely gonna win this contest. When I play the shout, hooray! I'm the one who's gonna win today! Got the Tessa moves? 
Got the chest of grooves. And when I move, it proves. I'm the winner, no beginner. Once upon a fairy tale, there was a superhero princess who won every contest. And she's gonna win this contest too. Attention, jungle! The talent contest will now begin! I'm ready to win! Oh, are you now? Well, you'll just have to wait your turn. First, the Elephantasia! Wow! Beautiful! I give them one star. And now, it's Birdapalooza. <laughs> fly, fly! They get two stars. Next, some monkey business. <laughs> Simply magical, three gold stars. They're pretty good. I don't even think I could beat them. I don't feel like dancing anymore. I'm not getting up there and telling a story by myself. Hey! Tessa, remember that time you felt bad because you fell into that mud puddle? We all jumped in with you, together. Mia, remember when you couldn't finish that super huge banana split? <laughs> we all ate it together. Eddie, it's like you said. If we don't work like a team, there's no show. You let that peacock make you work against each other. We came here as a team because we are a team. It doesn't matter if we win or lose. It's how we play the, the, the whatever we play together. Right, Kobe? We are a team. Yeah. Let's do what Kobe said. Really? Wow. And next we have an Eddie. Wait, there's been a change. A change? What kind of change? We're performing together. We're a team. Huh. Fine. Go ahead. As if you have the talent to win. Where did they come from? We're the best friends you've ever seen. And we're part of a super team. Couldn't get any better. But we do, we do together. We sing, we swing, we salsa sing. Like a bell that chimes, we ring a ding. The best part of all, as you will see, is doing it together in harmony. Once upon a time, I was just me. show us what a little teamwork can do, they say thee from practicing together. Welcome back, the Junk Jugglers! Okay, I just made that up. It's the big show! Let's welcome our hosts, Eddie and Sophie! Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Let's hear it for Ziggy Wigglebottom and the Wiggle 
Pencil Bottom Band. We've all been working hard to put together a great show. Songs and jokes and Mia's fairy tale theater. But now, adventure! A trip to the jungle, always full of fun and surprises. So let's get this rocking. Ziggy, make that music. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. One more time, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an it. Tessa, we're trying to sing a song. I'm bored. Bored? But you were having such a good time helping me out with the wardrobe. Finish that. And the props. You loved Did it. Bored, 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 bored. There's nothing to do. There's lots to do, if you know where to look. Have a seat and check out this very not boring song. <sighs> Ziggy, one more time. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And we're extra so excited. So here we go. Well, I guess I don't have anything else to do. Thanks, Mia. Bye-bye. Have fun. How can anyone be bored in the jungle? Don't know. Still am. We could go on a safari and see all the amazing jungle animals. Yeah, like dinosaurs. <sighs> Boring. Well, what have we found? Uh, a sloth! A sloth? <sighs> he seems even more bored than I am. Maybe we can unbore him. Mr. Sloth, want to do something fun? <sighs> okay. I know. How about a nature hike? We can look at all the wonderful wonders of nature. Sky, ground, sloth. That was nice. I'm done with nature. He's still bored. Got any other ideas? Hey, I know something everyone gets excited about. In, slothy. Okay. You'll love this. Ready, Eddie, go! Woohoo! That was awesome, right? No. Not fun. Feel better? Yes. Still bored, though. I know what you mean. Hey, when I'm bored, you know what helps? A little exercise. Exer what? One, two, three, four. Jump and then you jump some more. Five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't that just feel so great? Yeah. No. I'm beat. But you hardly even move. 
don't you ever think about doing exciting stuff? Don't you dream about... Dream? You mean like sleep? No, dream like use your imagination. Imagine what now? You've never heard of imagination? No wonder you're bored. When you're feeling like there's nothing left to do And you're staring at the wall And it's staring back at you You've got the bottom blues You can cure them if you find Mr. Sloth totally made me not bored. Well, I hope I helped. Hmm, the moon. He doesn't sound bored to me. The moon. Imagination is fun! It's like for me. Once upon a long time ago, in a very enchanted place, kind of like here, there was an evil witch. Sophie. Ooh, witchy witchiness. The mean, evil witch locked away a beautiful princess in the tall tower of total boredom, where the princess was totally bored. I was bored, but I'm not bored now. Look, I made an airplane. Hey, you're supposed to be a bored princess. Okay, but I can't be bored. This is a really fun tree house. It's supposed to be a tower. So, uh, anyway, a handsome prince came to save the princess. I am a handsome prince. Now you tell the princess to let down her long hair so you can climb up and... Not the ladder, her hair! See my airplane? Cool! This isn't boring, it's fun! <sighs> <sighs> and they lived happily ever after. Witchy witchiness! With the witch! I made an airplane too! Yay! in the treehouse with the ladder, the end. Witchy witchiness. What a show! We went to the jungle. We met a sloth. I tried to tell a fairy tale. And you did! Wasn't it so fun to make up a new ending? I guess so. It wasn't boring, that's for sure. Totally not boring. Remember. When you're feeling like there's nothing left to do And you're staring at the wall And staring back at you You ain't got the bored and blues But you can cure them if you find The magic in your mind The, the magic called imagination Don't worry, Kobe. I'll save you. Ah, 
Breathing Kobe eating dragon to scare away Princess Mia. Here I come. <laughs> what you doing? We're playing dragons, and it wants to eat me for lunch, like in the book. Someone was reading the story? We're making it up from the pictures. We're not sure how to read. <laughs> but look, Sophie's reading. Well, I. Sophie, you know how to read? That's super cool. What happens next? Does Sir Ready Eddie save the day? Read it to us. Come on, Sophie. Oh, okay. Er, the dragon. Er, er, the dragon roared. Then what? Um, the dragon roared. A big, big roar. A huge roar. The biggest, hugest roar ever roared. Great. And then? And then the dragon jumped over the moon on a polka dot pogo stick. A polka dot pogo stick? What happens next? Next? Well, uh, the, um, I have an idea. Let's go on our own dragon adventure. With a castle? And a king? Oh, yeah. All that stuff. Yeah! Let's go! Great idea! Woohoo! <sighs> hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first, we sing this song. We sing this gonna be fun. Dragon! Here, dragon, dragon, dragon! Come and get your favorite lunch! A freshly baked Kobe cake. Hey! I thought you were a big, scary dragon. <sighs> Every time I go near my castle, he roars at me. We're looking for a dragon. Excellent. And when you find the dragon, you can scare him away. Wait, you want us to scare away the dragon? <clears throat> Just do what it says in this book. Everything you need to know about scaring dragons is right in here. While you're busy scaring away the dragon, I'll be hiding in this tree. I mean, um, keeping a royal lookout. <laughs> yes. Sophie, start reading. Yes. Please enjoy reading and scaring. <laughs> so what does the book say? Let me see. Yes, it says here that er, dragons are afraid of... Spiders! Dragons scared of spiders? Well, if you read it in the book, it must be true. It's dragon scaring time! <gasps> Here he comes! I, 
It's a wee spider. Are you trying to scare me, wee spider? Because a spider isn't going to frighten a big, scary dragon like me! Rawr! Looks like dragon scaring time just turned into Eddie scaring time. <laughs> but the book said dragons were scared of spiders. Uh, well, sometimes a dragon isn't scared of spiders. The meanie McGreeny dragon is scared of, um, er, uh, runny noses and, uh, achoo! Sneezing! Runny noses and sneezing? Since when has that been scary? Says it right here. Well, if you read it in the book, it must be true. I guess. <laughs> Kobe Super Runny Nose and Sneezing Powder. My own special mixture of pepper, feathers, and royal pig hair. Easy peasy, dragon sneezy. Okay, get ready to blow the powder. One, two, three. <gasps> <laughs> ah, that's better. Nothing like a good sneeze to clean the pipes. Ha 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 choo! A choo! Are you sure you're reading the right instructions? Oh rats! Look! Ah. Ah. <laughs> I really am going to be a Kobe cake! What do we do now, Sophie? Yeah! What does the book say? Rawr! Rawr! I don't know what the book says. I never did. I don't know how to read. Just a couple of words, but that's it. <sighs> Why'd you tell us you could? You were all so happy that I could read and I got carried away. And then I didn't want to let you down. I didn't mean to trick you. I'm sorry. You're not the only one who's sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're a giraffe? I did not see that coming. I didn't mean to scare you. I just wanted to protect King Pigalot's castle. But he keeps running away, squealing like a frightened pig. That's because dragons are really scary. All I wanted to do was to impress the king. And there's nothing impressive about giraffes. But look how tall you are. That's impressive. And I'm impressed with you, Lassie. Telling the truth to your friends like that made me realize it's better to tell the truth than to pretend to be something you're not. Help! Help! King Pigalon? Oh. <laughs> yes! Can someone help me, please? Hmm. I haven't read this anywhere, but I bet this is a job for a giraffe. <sighs> thank you. Oh, thank you. I hereby name this giraffe the new King's Royal Reacher-Upper to high places. Yay! <laughs> Go, giraffe! rid of that dragon for you. Actually, he did. You? Bravo! Let me tell you all about it. Bye, so bye. bye! Hey, guys, want to hear a story? But you can't read. Not yet, but I'm learning. And one day, I'm going to write my very own story. What's it going to be about? Well, that's what I was going to tell you. Once upon a time, there was a king in a faraway land who had a very good friend, a giraffe. <laughs> Get ready for the greatest show on Earth, the galaxy, the entire universe. 
Okay, just the neighborhood. Here are our hosts, Eddie and Sophie! Thank, thank you, thank you. you! One and all, please hold your applause. Okay, let's get started. Drum roll, please. Ladies and gentlemen, dogs and toys. It's time for... <laughs> Mia's Fairy Tale Theater. Ta-da! Uh, Mia, it's not time for your fairy tale yet. But I've been practicing. I don't want to wait anymore. It's time for our adventure. Your fairy tale comes later. You'll have to wait your turn. Oh, rats. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, Ta-da! Did someone say Mia? No, I said Ziggy. Mia, we're going on a pirate adventure to find a sea monster. Oh, double rats. Take it away, Ziggy. Here's a fairy tale princess. Fairy tales are lots of fun. <sighs> One more time, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Once upon a time, there was a... <gasps> hey! Yo ho ho, on a deep blow sea, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. Arr! Ahoy there, Tessa! Ahoy, Sophie! Ahoy, Mia! <laughs> Ooh, nice pirate ship. <laughs> Avast, ye piratey crew. Avast, Captain Eddie. Arr, mateys, you ready for a pirate adventure? We are. Set the course and keep your eyes peeled for any sea monsters. Or dinosaurs. <laughs> Pirate Munch Ahoy! Are ye hungry? We, we are! are. Ah. Mia, no budding in line! But you didn't let me go first with my fairy tale. That doesn't mean you can cut in line for food. But I'm a very hungry princess, and princesses always go first. Excuse me. Sorry. Hey, I was first. Whoa, awesome. I mean, shiver me, Timbers. It's a sea monster. That's not a sea monster. It's an octopus. Octopuses make the best pirate pets ever. Thanks. Pardon, excuse me. Arr, can you stay on board, Captain? Welcome to the crew, Octo Pirates. Yum! I guess we can forget lunch. Make speed, me hearties. View. First mate on the double. Aye aye, Captain. Excuse 
me. I'll be first, mate. Let me go first. Me first! Me first! I got her first. Pardon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon. Hey, wait a minute. I'm the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Always wanted to steer a pirate ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That pushy octopus is trying to take over our ship. Such a buttonski. That octopus thinks he always has to go first. Everything is all about him. We have to do something. I've got an idea. <laughs> Ta da! Who wants to hear a story called The Princess and the Octopus? Excuse me, don't you mean the octopus and the princess? Oh, okay. <clears throat> I've got the perfect costume, so I'll be the princess. But who... who could be the octopus? Oh, me! Oh, me! <laughs> Excuse me, me! Why is Mia doing her fairy tale now? Once upon a time, there was a fairy princess. The fairy princess was very impatient, and she always liked to be first. She didn't mean to be pushy. She just got super excited, and... <clears throat> Excuse me. Where's the octopus? But then, an even pushier octopus pushed the princess and her friends so far that the princess turned to the octopus and said, Once upon a pirate ship, the princess fell to thirst. So she went to get some water. Of course she got some first. Excuse me. Wow, you're so good at playing the pushy octopus. Have you heard this song before? Join the chorus. Me first, me first, me, me. me. before. But did you like my fairy tale? Like it? We loved it! You got the octopus to jump overboard, and we didn't even have to push him. Ha! Who's first now? Me, 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 me. I bet I can run faster than anyone. I bet you can. Last one down the slide is a rotten egg. Hmm. I got here first. Let me go first. I don't want to be a rotten egg. Yes, I'm first. Hey, Mia, you waited your turn. I think you should go first. Thank you, Eddie. A princess should be sparkly, because she is the worst. Friends, I learned to wait your turn. Then we After you. <laughs> One pancake, two pancakes, three pancakes. 
pancakes? Did someone say pancakes? We just made a fresh batch. Here you go, Kobe. Dig in. Don't forget the maple syrup. Mmm, <laughs> I love pancakes. Do you love them more than dinosaurs? What? For my breakfast? Mm -hmm. Do you love them this much or this much? I love them so much. If I was stuck on a desert island, I'd only eat pancakes. <laughs> if that's all you're going to eat, then the entire island would have to be made out of pancakes. Pancake Island? Sounds like the best place ever. Do dinosaurs live there? They could, but you'd have to share the pancakes with them. Oh, then maybe not. Maybe Pancake Island has a hot chocolate volcano. And not only that, the beaches could be made out of brown sugar. Whoa, that sounds awesome. We've got to go there sometime. Why not right now? Come on, you guys. Let's find Pancake Island. Yeah, let's go. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Wait up! This is going to be fun. Well, ahoy there, first mate Kobe. Are ye ready for an adventure? Arr, sure am, Captain Eddie. Pirate ship! Pirate ship! Pirate ship! Pirate ship! I hope it's true that Pancake Island has a hot chocolate volcano and brown sugar beaches. Butter patties! Look out! Butter ahead! Look out! Look out. Ah. Shoot you, parrots! Shoo! Shoo you, parrots! Ah. Shoo you, Shoo parrots. parrots! Look at those butter patties! That's what I call a very slippery situation. Good thing you're steering, Eddie. Uh, Eddie? Whoa! Water skis! Kobe, take the wheel! M me Steer the boat? I don't know, Eddie. You're the captain. Ah, it's easy. When Sophie says go right, go right. She says go left, go left. Simple. See ya! But, Eddie! Just follow Sophie's directions. <laughs> left is... Um, let's see. That way? Or is that right? Why can't I ever remember this? We're sailing into more butter, and it looks sticky! Quick, turn left! So that means I turn this way. No, no! I said turn left! Turn left! Turn left! Turn left. Ah. Ah. Guess that was left. Guess that was left. Guess that was Guess left. That was left. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're gonna repeat everything I say, aren't you? Repeat, repeat everything, everything I say. Repeat, repeat everything, everything I say. I say. Uh -huh. Come on, you birds, quit it! Oh no! It looks like Pancake Island is surrounded by butter birds. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Quick, Kobe! Turn right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh boy. I hope. This works. Kobe, what are you doing? Now we're heading towards Pancake Island. We're gonna get flattened, like a pancake. One left, now a right. One left, now right. Left, uh, right. Hey, don't confuse One me. Left, now I have right. enough trouble telling uh, left from right. 
Trouble telling left and right. Trouble telling left and right. Shh, my friends will hear you. Trouble telling left and right. Trouble telling left and right. Shoo! Shoo! I got kind of bumpy, but I liked it. What's happening? Our ship's in trouble, and Kobe isn't listening to my directions at all. What in the name of jumping jellyfish is going on with him? I don't know, Sophie, but I'm going to find out. Ready, steady, Eddie! Mm. Need a little help, Kobe? Trouble telling left from right! Ah, Trouble telling left from right! Those silly parrots. What are they squawking about? Trouble telling left from right! Ah. Trouble telling left from right? <sighs> They're talking about me. Thanks a lot, guys. Now everyone knows I can't tell my left from my right. Aw, oh, Kobe. Don't feel bad. Easy for you to say. It isn't hard for you and Eddie. But you're never going to learn if you're afraid to ask. Don't feel embarrassed or ashamed. It's something that every kid faces. I'll tell you a secret. I can't tie my shoelaces. Wait, you can't tie your laces? You can always ask for help. help, help. Just give a little yes. Help, help. I will always understand. Stop, stop. Lend me a helping hand. Stop, stop. Thanks for telling me, Eddie. But Sophie, you do everything well. Oh, really? I can tie my shoes, I know my ABCs. I go down the big slide in the park, but at the time, my secret is I'm so afraid of the dark. But I can always ask for help. help, help. I just give a little yell. Help, help. Friends will understand. Stop, stop. Thanks, guys. I had no idea you two ever needed help with anything. You're awesome friends. Awesome friends! Awesome friends! Hey, Kobe, want to help me steer the ship? Do I ever? I mean, aye aye, Captain Eddie. Next stop, Pancake Island! Hey, Kobe, this is Tessa's dance party, not Tessa's stand around and look confused party. Well, Tessa, see... Okay, stop! Here's the thing. Left and right, well, I still can't tell them apart. Can you help me? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. And you know what? I can help you out. Put both hands up and you'll understand. Make an L for left and that's your left hand. I made an L with my left and now I understand. I can tell my right from my left with nothing but my hands. Thanks, Tessa. Anytime. Now we're dancing Tessa style. Conga line. Come on, everybody. Conga to the left. Come on. Left is this way. That kid sure has the right stuff. And the left stuff, too. Conga. Oops. Oh. 
<laughs> hey, everybody! Welcome to the first ever Backyard Egg Extravaganza! Team 1, Eddie and Mia! Yes! Team 2, Tessa and Kobe! Okay, you know the rules. Partners pass the egg to each other, and the first team to get its egg over the finish line without breaking it wins! Let's go, Sophie! This egg wants to get rolling! Eggs ready, eggs set, eggs go! Go Tessa! Come on, Eddie! Oh, yeah! Yippee! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Eddie slides into the lead. But Tessa and Kobe are gaining on them. Come on, toss it! Toss it! Tessa's ahead by nose. This is so exciting! <laughs> Go, Tessa! Come on, Eddie! You can do it! Mm. Mm. And it's exactly a tie! A tie? Aw, oh, come on! What good's a race without a winner? Rematch! But with race cars! <laughs> race cars! Yes! We can race on a big track! I'm in. Let's go. Yeah. I can't wait to race. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. to the really rather royal road race. Ripping, rousing, absolutely riveting. Dad. Sorry, son. Continue. The race will begin here and finish there at Pigalot Palace. Where the victory celebration will be held in a royally dignified manner. No light cheering will be permitted. Like this. Ra, ra, ra. There's the starting flag! Woohoo! Dad! You said I could start the race! Steady Eddie gets a head start and leaves him in the dust! Go, Eddie! The kid's a born winner! You said it! Wait, who said it? Eyes on the road, Ace! You want to win this thing, right? I love winning! And you do anything to win? Anything. Oh. Are you sure, Ace? A oh. zillion percent! Okay, leave it to me. Think of me as your good luck job. Quick, take this dirt road here. Uh. Okay. <laughs> oh no! I'm stuck in the mud! <laughs> and he rounds the curve like a pro! No one can catch up to him! Wow. 
my good luck charm. What are you doing? Helping you win, champ. Nobody can drive on banana peels. But that's not very fair. No, but now you're way out in front. I guess I am. I stopped all the other racers, too. All of them? Yep. But isn't that really unfair? Who cares about fair? You're going to win. But that's... And winning is the best, right? Well, I do love winning. It's great! Better than great. But what about my friends? Hey, you said that you'd do anything, right? Winning is the best. But cheating is the worst. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? The right thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I could be your good luck charm. Oh. I'll help you, Kobe. Mm. Here, Mia. Got it. Thanks. There you go, Tessa. Thanks. I, King Pigalot, pronounce you, Sophie, the winner of the really rather royal road race. Yay! Hooray for Sophie! Sophie! Yay! Hooray for Sophie! Aw, thank you. But I couldn't have won without Eddie's help. He helped me, too. And me! That makes four of us. And because Eddie helped all of us, I think he's the real winner. Here we go, Eddie. Hooray! Yay! Congratulations, Eddie! Bravo! It's like me. That's me! This is the story of the tortoise in the hare, which is like a big bunny rabbit, but different. The role of the tortoise would be played by a really slow zebra because we don't have a tortoise. <sighs> so one day, the really slow zebra and the hairy bunny rabbit had a race. The bunny was so sure she was going to win that she stopped to play in the sandbox. But the zebra just kept moving along, slow and steady. So... You know, Bunny, if you get all sandy, it might slow you down. No, you're supposed to pass her, not help her. Gee, thanks, really slow zebra. Boing, boing, boing. <sighs> But then the bunny saw some swings. She was so far ahead of the really slow zebra, she decided to stop and play. So the slow and steady zebra... Need a push? Thanks! No! You know, bunny, we're having so much fun, why don't we cross the finish line together too? Great idea! No, it's not supposed to happen that way. The really slow zebra is supposed to win. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Look, it's a tie! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> so, the zebra and the bunny became best friends. And that's definitely not the story of the tortoise and the hare. You should tell us that one sometime. <sighs> The end. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I won this medal for first place in a spelling contest. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, this is 
one of my favorites. I got this trophy for being the strongest kid in my class. No, wait. Oh, right. Sorry, this one was a trophy for doing the best handstand. I always get those two awards mixed up. I wish I had a trophy. Oh, don't worry, Mia. Maybe when you get a little bigger, you'll win an award for... for... for something. Thank you. Thank you all for this award. Uh, Mia? My trophy? Oh, right. Oh, rats. I wish I could win something. Well, you're just in time for the county fair down on the farm. Eddie, Kobe, are you ready? It's time for another adventure. I'll go get the wagon. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. County Fair has so much cool stuff to see and do. And there's lots of ways to win ribbons and trophies. I'm going to teach these chickens to sing and enter the singing chicken contest. Here, chicky, chicky, chicky. I'm going to make the best pie ever and win the pie making award. What about you, Kobe? Hmm. I think I might use that old wagon wheel and. Invent an automatic hoof polishing machine. <laughs> Mia, have you decided what you want to do for the county fair? Are you going to make something? Well, I... I'll just... Ah! Oops. Find something to do with this hook. Hmm. Maybe Tessa will know how to fix this birdhouse. I think she won an award for making birdhouses. No! I can do it all by myself. Here I go, fixing the birdhouse. Making it the biggest, bestest, winningest, uh, award winner. Okay. Well, that just leaves me. <laughs> Good thinking, Mr. Horse. I'll be the judge. I don't need anyone's help. I'm just as good at fixing stuff as they are. Whoa! Well, hey there, Missy. My name's Andy. Hello. My name's Mia. Welcome to my workshop, Mia. Have a seat. That's beautiful. Thank you, Andy. Well, looky there. You're a woodworker, too. Looks like quite a project. It used to be a birdhouse, but I don't know how to fix it or make a new one. Birdhouse? Hmm. Mind if I give it a try? That solve your birdhouse problem? I, uh... I know. It's still a little rough around the edges. No. I mean, it's... Wow. Just a little gift from one carpenter to another. Mmm. Good pie, Tessa. Come on. Sing with me. La, la, la. Mia, that is awesome! Double awesome! I, uh, yeah, well, I guess it is. 
I had no idea you could do this, Mia. Uh, neither did I. Whoa, Mia! It's like a bird palace. It's still a little rough around the edges. Mia, since you're so good at making stuff, maybe you can make me a new go-kart. Oh, well, I... Ooh, you can make us all go-karts! Yeah! yeah. <sighs> and now they all want me to make them new go-karts. I just wanted to show them that I was good at something. Sounds like you didn't happen to mention that you didn't make the birdhouse. I was going to tell them, but they said it was amazing. And I want an award so badly. Well, I think I understand. Reminds me of a little song my daddy sang to me when I still had my baby teeth. <laughs> Don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Finding what you're good at's what you got to do. So first you stop by trying, and then when you are through. Don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Don't go fretting if someone else knows just what to do. Don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Just compare yourself to you. Don't compare yourself to others. Just compare yourself to you. Do 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 do. So you made this birdhouse? Uh huh. Sure did. And you made that birdhouse too? Uh uh. Sure didn't. Andy made that one. Who's Andy? Andy's a beaver who lives near the farm, and he makes stuff out of wood, like the fancy birdhouse. But you said that you made No, you said I made it. And I kind of liked it when you thought I did, even though I should have told the truth. But now I kind of like my birdhouse better because I made it myself. I kind of like it too. Looks like the real birdhouse experts like your house the best. That's because it is the best. Really? As the official county fair judge, I hereby award Mia this first place ribbon for the best broken birdhouse fixing. Thank you. Thank you all for this award. Yay, Mia! You go, Mia! Hey, um, you guys, I have some awards. More awards? What'd you win them for? Oh, I didn't win them. I made them for you guys. And the winner of the Eddie Award is... Eddie! For being the best Eddie I know. Wow! Thank you, Mia. And this one's for you, Sophie, because you're so... so... Well, you're just the Sophiest. Aw, thanks, Mia. And this is the Kobe Award. For you, Kobe. Uh, it's just a block of wood. I left it plain because I know you'll invent it into something amazing. This is the Special Tessa Award for Best Ice Skater. But I don't know how to ice skate. Yeah, but if you did ice skate, you'd be good enough to win this award. Wow, Mia, thank you so much. And one more award. This award is for all of us, for being the best friend ever. But I think I'll keep this one. <laughs> <laughs>